me the opportunity to present a bit about our work on monitoring crop loss due to adverse agrometeorological conditions. I'm Daniel. I work at Embrapa Digital Agriculture. Embrapa is a Brazilian agriculture research corporation. We operate under the Ministry of Agriculture in Brazil, similar to ARS in the United States. And our project was to develop a simple and intuitive portal for evaluating agrometeorological conditions. We also included a crop model so we can simulate any planting date and compare results from the uh, current year to expected past years. Uh, next, please. So this is how our system looks today. Um, so the user can choose any um, time frame, so an initial date and an end date. And when we click anywhere on the map, we can choose an interval. I'm looking here at weekly precipitation. We have uh, anomaly indexes like SPI, which is uh, previous than SPEI. Uh, and when we click on the map, we can see what happened to the weekly precipitation and the time the period we chosen and compared it to historical data. This is coming from GPM IMERG data, so it's not power data yet. But on our next slide, please, we have the uh, simple crop model we call AGS, and we can choose a planting date. So here we are choosing 1st of November, and on, on the bottom graph, we can see what happened to the daily development of the crop. Here is a soy crop, and we are using power data to come to run the model. And we see that the current uh, prediction is the orange line is a bit uh, below the 25th percentile when we consider the entire historic data from 2000 onward. So it means that 2021 for November wasn't a good year for crop for Mato Grosso. Uh, next slide, please. So if we run the simulation and we do not have enough data to fill a complete growth growing cycle, will fill in the data gaps with past years. So this is the simulation on the top graph uh, that we ran for a, a municipality in the south of Brazil, planting on November 1st. And by January, we did not have enough data, enough data because uh, we were in January. So if we look at the possible outcomes, we see that we will probably be hovering around the med minimum obtained yield for historical data. And when we looked at what happened to the precipitation, that's the middle graph, we can see that for December and January, we were always at the medium temp precipitation or below. So our, our accumulated precipitation was very low. And this impacted on our simulated uh, yield for that year. So when we ran the simulation on May, we had all the data for the entire uh, growth period. We see that our results were in the minimum obtained yield. And if we can do this for a place in Brazil, we can have calibrated our model for all municipalities. So next slide, please. Um, we can see uh, what is the ratio of the current crop yield compared to the median of a 20 of a 20 year run for all the residents municipalities. And we simulate 36 planting dates. And our predictions are uh, updated continuously as new weather data is available. So we are using power data and, and G plus GPM IMR for precipitation, for precipitation as inputs for our models. So we can continuously update the, these maps. Uh, and last slide, please. So how has this uh, enhanced our mission? Well, Umbrella mission is to create research, development, and innovation for sustainable agriculture. So a monitoring system is very important for providing information on this for decision makers, both for public and private sector. So the power data products, both its up-to-date meteorological data and easy to use API has facilitated our development. So and thank you for your time and that's basically it.